Mandina Lodge is sited on the banks of a bolong, a Mandinka word for river, and the river is a tributary of the mighty river Gambia. The lodge is situated in the Makasutu forest, and Makasutu in Mandinka means a holy or sacred place. It is truly an oasis of peace and quiet, somewhere to escape the madness of the world we live in. On arrival at Mandina, you are welcomed with a cold drink and introduced to your own personal maid, waitress or waiter and your own personal guide. They will take care of you throughout your stay here. Every evening, the head chef comes round to each lodge to take your order for the evening meal. If there's one thing that is predominantly five-star at Mandina, it is certainly the food and the service. The lodge is the brainchild of two Englishmen, James English, appropriately, and Lawrence Williams. The initial project was to save the Makasutu forest, and the lodge was an afterthought, born out of people asking if it was possible to stay there, in the forest. The forest is approximately 1,760 acres and it's made up of savanna, mangrove, tropical and guinea woodland. The lodge itself consists of four floating lodges spread out along the mangrove swamps, one stilted lodge and three jungle lodges. The lodges themselves are TARDIS-like in as much as they are much larger inside than you expect them to be from the view of the outside. Not only do you get this enormous room to yourself, but there is a spiral staircase which leads to a very large terrace.
You can sunbathe privately here. You can have all your meals here if you wish to do so. The terrace also has a shower and a bed with a fan should you choose to sleep under the stars at night. It can get very hot at Mandina, so each lodge has two fans, one which is directly over the bed. Your shower is al fresco, but nobody can see you, except the monkeys of course. Since the saving of the forest, the baboons and monkeys that lived there and had been driven out by the felling of trees have now returned and in the evening the local baboon troop usually passes through the lodge. These are guinea baboons. They are one of four subspecies of baboon found in Africa. These though are specifically found in the West. Floating lodges are spread along the Bolong and they are a really unique experience to stay in. The floating lodges are very spacious and sleeping there it's almost like being rocked to sleep as the tide ebbs and flows through the night. Access to the floating lodges is along a boardwalk at the back of the mangroves. Each floating home has a gazebo and here you can sit in the shade in the heat of the day and enjoy the breezes that come off the river. Floating lodges are very eco-friendly, getting all their power from solar panels and using compost toilets. Activities at the lodge include walking, bird watching, visiting the cultural village and taking a canoe out on the river. Going out on the river early morning is a truly peaceful and rewarding experience. The water levels are low, enabling you to see good bird life and just the peace and quiet of the bolons. You get back in time to have a hearty full English breakfast.
Early morning is the time that the local women go out to harvest the oysters, which are left exposed on the mangrove roots when the water levels drop. If you're concerned when abroad about eating fish, you certainly don't have to in the Gambia. Fish is fresh from the sea or the rivers straight to your table and there is a vast variety of fish to be found here. Over the first 10 years that James and Lawrence were here, they planted 20,000 trees to get the forest back to its former glory. Within the confines of Makasutu Forest, there are 14 villages comprising of thousands of people, all dependent on the forest itself for their livelihood. You've seen the jungle and floating lodges. The other lodge here is the stilted lodge. The stilted lodge comes in two parts. There's the main part where you sleep, shower, etc. And then the second part has a dining and sunbathing area and an additional sleeping area which is more open to the elements. It doesn't matter which lodge you stay in, the experience of Mandina and Makasutu is more about experiencing the forest, be that on the water, in the forest or meeting the local people who live there.